hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so yesterday i created the full review video of the latest oxygen s13 open beta f08 before switching to the custom roms you can check that video from the icard link finally the custom rom development for the oneplus 9 rt is on the peak now developers like the abhino gupta inferno and the team is creating amazing android 13 based roms like pixel s prince and rise droid but before review of these roms flashing of these rom is most important part because this time flashing is somewhat changed. So today in this video I am flashing the Rise Droid 7.5 Android 13 based ROM. You need the Windows PC with the latest fastboot drivers installed on it. You can refer the lots of YouTube videos how to install the fastboot driver on your PC. Your phone's bootloader must be unlocked and USB debugging enabled in the developer setting. You can refer our iCard video for how to unlock the bootloader of OnePlus 9 RT. Keep backup of all your phone's data, download all the files from the video description and keep them in one folder on your PC. Like ROM zip file, an answer file, downgrade package of Oxonus 12C07. Because while doing this tutorial, all the phone's data will get wiped. For the flashing custom ROMs, now we need the Oxonus 12C07 as a base on the both the A and B slots. So watch the video carefully till the end to avoid the complications. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. As I am on the Oxonus 13 open beta, I need to roll back to the Oxonus 12C07. If you are on the Oxonus 11, then first upgrade to the latest Oxonus 12C07 and then follow the next step. If you are already on the Oxonus 12C07, I recommend you to must follow these steps as it is. You need to download the rollback package of Oxonus 12.1C07. It is given under the video description. Remove its jar extension and just keep its file name as a .zip file. Now move this file into the root of the internal storage, don't keep it in any folder. Now go to the about phone, go to the version tab, they tap 8 times on your build number, this will enable the developer option. If you already done this, then skip the step. Now go to the about device section once more, they tap on the OT update, they tap on the right top 3 dot menu. Now select the local install and locate your downgrade package. System will verify the package and it will show you like this is the Oxonus 12.1 Android 12. Once confirmed, tap on the extract. Extraction process will take at least 5 minutes. Then tap on the install, phone will reboot and you will get complete setup process. Once phone gets boost to the OS, then check the about phone if your device is now downgraded to the Oxonus 12C06 or not. So we are downgraded to the Oxonus 12. In the version tab, again tap 8 times on your build number, enable the developer setting and also enable the USB debugging in the developer setting. Now once again transfer the downgrade package that we saved in the PC to the phone in the root of the internal storage. Rename it again as a .zip file. Again go to the about phone and the OTA tab, there tap 3 dot menu, select the local install and select the downgraded package and extract it and tap install. This step is same as we followed in the first part of the video and is important because we need the Oxonus 12C07 on the both A and B slots. Once downgrade completes and the phone boots after complete setup, once more go to the about phone, they enable the developer setting and the USB debugging once more. Now power up the phone, long press the volume up plus down plus power button and phone will boost to the fast boot mode, then connect it to the PC. Now head over to the PC where you place the fastboot enhancer release zip file. Generally keep all these files in the platform tools of the C drive or on the desktop. Now extract the file release.zip. You will get the list of the files from them. Double click on the fastboot enhancer exe file. New window of application will open here. This will help us to check whether the fastboot and the fastboot D mode is working on the both the slots or not. App will show you the device ID and its connected mode as a fastboot. Click in this tab. Now this window interface will show you the current active slot of your device. For me, my current active slot here is A. At the bottom we get the reboot to the fastboot mode and to change the slot like options. First tap on the reboot to the fastboot D and see if your device boots to this screen. Once phone boots to the fastboot D mode in the windows application, you will get the boot to the bootloader option at the bottom. Tap it on, phone boots back to the fastboot mode. Now we need to check the another slot is properly working or not. To check that we need to switch the slot. In my case I will switch to the B. Now app will show you my current active slot as a B. 
Now repeat the both the steps like boot to the fast boot D mode. Once phone boots to the fast boot D mode, again boots back to the normal fast boot mode. Once you confirm both the slots have working fast boot and fast boot D mode, now proceed to the next step. Now in the same folder, press the shift button of your keyboard and right click of mouse simultaneously and select the open PowerShell window from the drop down menu. In the CMD, now type fastboot devices, you will see your device ID here. Now type fastboot space w space update space and drag the whole file in the CMD to locate its location and hit enter. Here I am flashing the riseduit zip file. Now you will see the flashing of riseduit has started. In the flashing process phone boots to this password D mode, you can check this on the screen. Keep the phone connected, don't disturb it. Finally, you guess the flashing finish in the CMD and phone starts to boot. Now remove the cable and finally boot it to the new riseduit boot animation. After completing the initial setup, let's check the about phone. So this is the Android 13 based riseduit 7.5 with the new Android 13 material you clock strike. So finally we done the flashing of newly released Oxone S13 based ROM. You can refer this video for the first time flashing of all Android 13 based ROM for the OnePlus 9RT. After first time flashing later you can flash any custom ROM via ADB side load in the recovery that I will show you in the next video. Now I will review this ROM in the upcoming video to confirm is it good for the daily uses or not. Later I will also create how you can revert back to the stock Oxone S from the custom ROM. So stay tuned. Until then, if you think I'll help you through this video, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Soonest time. Take care. Bye bye.